Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as I continue to work through my seasonal congestion as it is changing temperature, about 40 degrees every two days in Oklahoma right now is probably most of America and who knows, maybe all the world. Uh, Clips 27 is a good example of a summoner who may not have all the best six stars, but he still clears content so well with his five stars, especially his five star Hercules. So the idea that five stars, the new four stars, and then with seven stars coming, they're going to be irrelevant, I think it's just a terrible argument. Especially if you have the best of the best five stars. Plus, it's cheaper than ever to awaken them, to rank them up, and uh, essentially to do whatever you can to, well, succeed. So here we have the Grandmaster's Gauntlet. He submitted Eternity of Pain as well in a different video. And with the Gauntlet, <clears throat> it's still one of those things that even a five star Hercules can clear. I don't want to say easy, but easier than certainly when it came out. And I was using Quake and, well, I still use Quake, but Quake and uh, like Aegon. Yeah, Aegon was a big ramp-up champion. And Tier 5 Class Catalyst, still a value. Especially if you have zero in several categories like him. And that's uh, probably a smart move to choose Science. Now, the fun thing about Gauntlet Rewards with the new uh, six-star basic pool is that you could get Iron Doom. And a six-star Nexus, too. All right, let's see this one. Oh. Oh, no. This is a nightmare scenario. You spend all that work. And look, I'm not saying Red Goblin or the recently-ish buffed Thor Jane Foster or Loki are the worst champions in the game, but that is a horrible Nexus. If I was to grade that from an A to an F, I think I'd give it an F. And it's not that I don't have respect for Red Goblin, but I don't think he's a top 15 Cosmic Champion because his class is so deep and is the most top-heavy, best class in the game. And then Mystic, I wouldn't put Thor Jane Foster or Loki close to the top either. So, yikes. That is awful. I am sorry, sir. Yeah, Red Goblin's the choice, but... That is not why you do the gauntlet. Not at all. But you do have 25,000 six-star shards, and he's going to use it to try to get another shot at Infamous Doom? Or is he going to go too basic? Or is he going to go, ooh, now that he's in the basic pool, okay. Let's see if we can see Infamous Doom in here now. Gotta be better than that Nexus. You can see Hercules. There he is, I just saw him. Come on, Iron Doom. Or Hercules. Guardian, couple of Venom Pools, Sentinel. Did you already have Awakened Clips? So, before we get to the last crystal, speaking of which... I do think Sentinel is in that category of champions that like, I, I feel like have kind of become underrated because they used to be top 10 and then when a bunch of new better champions came in the game, they just slipped down the rankings and a lot of times you don't even think of them anymore. But uh, yeah, let's see if the second crystal gives him a champion he's hunting, given that he spent 5,000 more six star shards on both of these. All right, here we go. And guillotine twenty ninety nine. I mean, that was going to be awesome no matter what. And that is a new champion. That's awesome. That is awesome. I would be very happy with that. She is another champion that I think I don't use much, but when I do use her, especially in the right circumstances, I'm so glad she's in the game. And I guess you could say the same thing about Sentinel. So, started with the most painful Nexus of all time. Well, not really, but like recently. 
and ended fairly strong. So Clips, I'm curious to hear what you thought of your own opening. I'll have to ask you that privately. Thanks for the submission to the channel. Thanks for watching.